It's a mountain view that transfixes visitors. And to Steve Harvey, the perfect backdrop for a weekend of music. There's no mountain music festival with a better backdrop than what we have. I mean, we are at the foot of a public peak, 10,000 foot peak. In the aftermath of the floods, the small mountain towns of Cook City and Silvergate came together, tightening community bonds. And Harvey hopes their first shot at a music festival will make that bond even tighter and raise some money for flood recovery. So we're doing uh, two days, nine bands, mostly local. We have one band from Fort Collins, one band from Sheridan, Wyoming. All the rest are Montana bands. Featuring the likes of Little Jane and the Pistol Whips and Calvin and the Coal Cars, the festival, called Forget Me Not Fest, is planned for August 18th and 19th. And Harvey expects it will bring a boost of tourism to the small communities that sit next to the northeast entrance of Yellowstone National Park. I am very much looking forward to the summer and being busy and having guests sitting outside, having fun, getting to explore Lamar Valley, the Beartooth Mountains, and just all that this area has to offer. Over at Silvergate Lodging, May was a busy month, and summer reservations are already filling up, signaling a return to normalcy. May historically has been getting busier and busier for the past five, six years, um, and as of now, like, our cabins are almost fully booked. After the floods, Silvergate Lodging offered a pay-what-you-can rate to attract tourists to the area, and manager Chris Conway says that special will return for Montana and Wyoming residents during the week of the festival. For pay-what-you-can if you live in the area, so Billings, Red Lodge, like Helena, like come out and have fun. It'll be mostly locals in Silvergate that weekend. It'll be a lot, be a fun time. While traffic to the park is a lifeblood for the small communities, Harvey said that part of the goal of the Forget Me Not Fest is to make Cook City and Silvergate the destination. A lot of people just pass through Cook City and Silvergate. It's a gateway town and part of our priority is to make this a destination so people will come here, stay here, play here. In Silvergate, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.